2018 Ferrari Portofino Convertible Review The Good Points of Ferrari Portofino Convertible Powerful, Responsive Turbo Engine Agile, Engaging Handling Simple they are driving, slow or fast. Striking styling. More practical than California T. The bad points of Ferrari Portofino convertible. Still won't seat for adults. Boot bigger and not buy much. No hybrid help on emissions. Brakes can squeak when cold. List cost is only the beginning. The Ferrari Portofino can be a high-performance convertible having a folding metal roof that's a primary replacement with the California T. Its main competition also comes in the form with the Porsche 911 Turbo Cabriolet, Bentley Continental GT convertible and a couple of Mercedes models, the SL and also the AMG GT Roadster. How fast would be the Ferrari Portofino? As was ever thus with Ferraris, the engine may be the big news here. This 3.9 liter V8 twin turbo motor develops 600 horsepower, 40 horsepower over the California T in 760 newton meters of torque, revving all just how to 7,500 revolutions per minute to get a 062 miles per hour sprint of 3.5 seconds. Top speed is claimed for being over 199 miles per hour apostrophe, creating this one of merely a handful of 200 miles per hour convertibles. That engine is bolted to your same 7-speed F1 style dual clutch gearbox such as the California T, while its 20-inch alloy wheels sit facing standard carbon ceramic brakes. A new electronically assisted power steering system features the very first time on this form of Ferrari, and our initial test out indicated that it feels highly accurate and responsive, and helps to highlight the harder light weight style of the Portofino compared to its predecessor, the California T, which has been 80 kilograms heavier. Another new feature could be the exhaust which features electronic valves that open and shut to adjust its volume according to the situation and what are the driver desires. Warm-up is a lot more muted, while it'll really commence to sing in case you flick the Manettino switch the signal from sport. Other Ferrari technologies carry over on the California T model, including the electronic rear limited slip differential and magnetic adaptive suspension but they have been further honed from the Italian firm's engineers to supply even more impressive performance. Is the Ferrari Portofino more practical compared to California T? Officially billed being a 2 plus 2 seater, the Portofino is usually a two seat sport vehicle first and foremost for the reason that rear seats are simply really well suited for small people for very short distances but there is really a pair of ice fix child seat points back there. However, the retractable hardtop is now operate for the move, and takes 14 seconds, that produces this Ferrari more practical than its predecessor. On the surface of that, maximum boot capacity is growing to 292 liters, which Ferrari claims will do for three cabin bags using the roof up or two from it down. We're not nearly so sure on that aspect from first inspection but you'll manage to order some custom fit Ferrari luggage that ought to slot in it nicely. What's new contained in the product? The Portofino contains the 10.3-inch touchscreen multimedia system we first sampled inside the GTC4 Lusso, which can be supplemented by way of a new touchscreen passenger display, with either capable of control the tunes playing inside cabin and also displaying driving and navigation information. There's some much thinner front seats, too, which apparently unlock an additional 5 cm of rear legroom. There still isn't a wide range of space behind the leading seats, though. The Verdict 
The Portofino is usually a better car they are driving than the California T in each and every way that matters. It feels more agile and the majority of faster than its 40 horsepower advantage would usual suggest. In fact, it feels different to some other Ferrari we've driven, however in a good way. It's impossible to ignore emissions today, so fuel saving tech like turbocharging and electrical energy steering undoubtedly are necessary evil, even so the Portofino can be a lesson in the best way to incorporate them without dulling the ability. It's an extremely accomplished machine that works well at low speeds and gets better the faster you're going. Ferrari Portofino Convertible Review Powerful turbocharged V8 engine Smooth and quick twin clutch gearbox Sport and comfort drive modes As you'd expect from any Ferrari, certainly one of the Portofino's highlights is its performance. The engine is simply the same turbocharged 3.9-liter petrol V8 we know in the outgoing California T, though the firm's engineers have changed several components and inside the process boosted output by 40 horsepower to get a nice round 600 horsepower. This is duplicated by a considerable maximum torque production of 760 newton meters available between 3000 and 5250 revolutions per minute in seventh gear. In lower gears torque is restricted to ensure optimum traction. All that punch is fed by way of a 7 speed twin clutch gearbox that automatically works in automatic mode. Though the driver is capable to manually control shifts whenever you want via paddles within the steering column. Just how quick could be the Ferrari Portofino? In a thing, very. It isn't quite inside same performance ballpark as greater focused supercars in Ferrari's lineup, like the 488, 812 Superfast and Lane Ferrari. But using a 062 miles per hour use of 3.5 seconds, 0124 miles per hour in 10.8 seconds plus a top speed of greater than 199 miles per hour, it'll easily outrun virtually all cars for the road. But it's the way in which this power is delivered that creates the Portofino feel as if a true Ferrari. For a start, the engine note sounds a great deal more aggressive and harmonious as opposed to standard California T, and it also is in a demonstrable improvement within the HS handling specially version of this car, which featured a better exhaust for more theater. You'll be disappointed should you've ever driven an on turbo Ferrari though, the turbocharger, vital in order to reduce emissions and improve fuel economy with this modern world can make it impossible for your engine to completely sink such as the 458, that's an engine that is certainly among our reviewing team's favorites zounding out of them all. However, the truth that the motor revs all the way in which to 7500 revolutions per minute likewise helps drivability, with all the noise and associated thrust increasing all the way to your red line. We were competent to discern noticeable extra flexibility within this engine in comparison with its performance inside California T, Ferrari claims 5% more performance within the rev range therefore we have no reason to dispute this. You're able to regulate the character on the engine and gearbox using Ferrari's Manettino control around the steering wheel, allowing the motive force to switch between comfort and sport modes dependent upon their preference. In the former setup the Portofino is reasonably docile, capable to potter out with aplomb because of a softer throttle response and smoother gear shifts. Dial up to sport along with the changes become quicker and much more abrupt to accompany the enlivened engine response. But don't forget, as this jelly bean shaped feature have to be clicked into place, it won't default to comfort if your car is turned off. Moves game on from California T. Lighter weight for nimble handling. Excellent brakes and suspension. And in order to another on the Portofino's, and Ferrari's, talents. We were incredibly impressed using the handling of the car, and think it's a marked improvement within the California T handling specially, 
I'll watch you no slouch through corners. The biggest change here, besides an 80 kg fat loss over its predecessor thanks to your redesigned chassis and the entire body is often a move to electrically assisted power steering. But despite what purists may say, it isn't for the detriment of driver enjoyment. It's quick, razor sharp and almost perfectly weighted for low speed driving. Parking is simple, and city centers pose no remodeling. But to unlock the real potential with the Portofino you need drive an automobile quicker, after which you'll notice an uncanny handling character that allows the motorist a stupendous quantity of confidence within the car. You can place it within the entrance with a bend with micron accuracy, plus it never seems like you're asking too much of the top tires. The way it changes direction is evenly enthralling, one's body reacting obediently to any level of steering input. We found the conventional fit carbon ceramic brakes to become incredibly impressive too. They have more pedal feel than the usual lot of higher performance offerings from rival companies no matter simply how much we lent with them, they delivered predictable and consistent stopping power every time. Ferrari Portofino Electronic Chassis Assistance As an effective rear-wheel drive car the Portofino impresses having its flexibility in everyday use, and much of these is down towards the firm's head of three which may electronically simulate the result of limited slip differential to guarantee traction is optimized in every conditions. Plant your foot for the floor touch too early and most end you'll feel this accommodating liven up a corner end, but don't fret, the highly sophisticated F1 track traction control keeps things down to prevent a wayward skid. Another new feature may be the latest iteration of Ferrari's magnetic magnetite adaptive suspension. That's optional and definitely will be set up on almost all Portofinos sold inside UK. This feature is stiffer springs but another wider gap between sport and comfort also controlled using the Manettino stated previously, making for a more Jekyll and Hyde nature. The Manettino switch comes with a third mode that disables the electronic safety net of stability and traction control, but this isn't for the purpose of road use which is best left alone. Sport is over enough for most and the people this car appeal to. Handling great in every weather. We did notice a difference between the Portofino's handling dependent upon whether the cover was up or down, using the former being very slightly more composed over undulating surfaces. We're only talking tiny margins here, though, and also the trade-off would be that the cabin feels a little more cramped especially that has a dark colored roof liner. Our only other slight criticism was the brakes squeaking fairly loudly when cold easily reminded that has a firm push on the pedal, though. Driver focused controls. Slick multimedia system. High quality materials. When you're sat within the Portofino there's little doubt you're inside a Ferrari. The driving position is extremely good, offering a superb view on the long bonnet but a low slung seat which enables make you feel part of the ability. The cars we've tried so far are actually decked out having a multitude of optional extras, helping to make it challenging to assess the normal cabin, but few cars will leave the factory this way anyway. This can be a car that's built being personalized and our experience thus far has been considered one of high quality materials in each and every place imaginable. Multimedia within the Ferrari Portofino This is dominated with the 10.3 inch touchscreen inside the dash, which displays slick looking and intuitive graphical menus that seem to be very up to date. We found its processor, which includes been upgraded within this unit still struggled somewhat when zooming in and out of Satan of maps and flicking between menus, which often can make for the frustrating experience while you wait for it to hook up. We hope Ferrari can fix this thus it works together with the same volume of performance as being the Portofino's driving dynamics. One very neat option could be the passenger display, 
whereby your left seat occupant gets their particular touch screen and is capable of view navigation, trip computer, performance statistics from that drive, or perhaps change the songs that's playing. We're certain won't cause many arguments. Magnetic suspension pays dividends. New thinner front seats impress. Roof up cabin refinement excellent. You might not expect a Ferrari being particularly comfortable, but that's incorrect here. The Portofino may be designed first and foremost as being a Grand Tourer GT, which means its remit is covering serious miles and comfort. That optional magnetic suspension does a fantastic job of experiencing bumps and imperfections on even heavily rutted and potholed roads substantially comfort. But even in case you feel like dialing up the type using sport mode, there's a button for the steering wheel to soften the suspension to ensure remains rolling around in its more cosetting setting. This, Ferrari calls, bumpy road mode. We found the 18-way electrically adjustable seats, that are 20% thinner than from the California T, to be greater than comfortable enough that you can run out of fuel before any side effects begin to emerge. The cabin is well insulated from wind with all the roof down, as long since you keep the windows up. With the top up it's quieter inside, plus a dark roof lining causes it to be feel a bit more compact. However in essence it really ends up feeling such as a hardtop car. You won't get a standard car. Loads of optional extras. TaylorMade takes it one step further. There aren't trim levels as a result here, instead Ferrari expects that just about all Portofinos is going to be built to buyer's individual specifications. That's why the typical kit looks sparse for any car in this type, it's a blank canvas what is the best to make your very own mark. Ferrari Portofino, Standard Equipment The following is often a rundown with the items you get within the basic car. Carbon Ceramic Brakes Launch Control Manettino Switch the Signal from Control Drive Modes Cruise control. LED headlights and tail lamps. 20 inch alloy wheels. Aircon. Automatic lights and wipers. Front and rear parking sensors. Keyless ignition with engine start button on controls. Tire repair kit. Car cover. Electric front seats. Rear Seat Folding System Ferrari Portofino Multimedia Systems As standard the Portofino includes twin 5.0-inch screens by having an analog rev counter for your instrument panel looking at the driver. This provides driving information alongside navigation and audio details. The main infotainment system incorporates a 10.3-inch touchscreen with integrated SATNAV, USB jack, Bluetooth connectivity and DAB radio. Ferrari Portofino, optional extras. This is how it gets interesting. Your Ferrari salesperson will have the capacity to help you search through the options to get the right spec in your case. Available from launch you are able to pick in the following. Dua mode magnetic suspension. Brake calipers inside a variety of colors. Carbon fiber ducts, air vents, front spoiler, sill covers, cup holder really, wheel caps and leader with or without lead shift lights. Ferrari badge emblems on front quarters and embroidered in front headrests or floor mats. 20 inch forged alloys in a very variety of finishes. Exhaust pipe finishes in black or chrome. Colored seat belts. Contrasting stitching. Leather or carbon fiber with the central tunnel. Aluminium or white rev counter. Color requests for a pillar and your tire. A assortment of paint finishes, 
including a number of Ferrari's historic motor racing hues. Apple CarPlay Cornering headlights Protective film for paintwork DVD changer Fire extinguisher Garage door opener Parking camera, rear or front and back Passenger information display Upgraded speaker system Ferrari tailor made to the Portofinio If you're following your ultimate in personalization while retaining full factory and Ferrari dealer support then you'll need to investigate tailor made This snares you one's own designer who'll make suggestions through three bespoke programs being offered skewed during a using racing derived styling parts and materials Classica determined by classic GT Ferraris of your and Indicia, that permits the buyer more freedom to understand colors and materials to their personal taste. Ferrari cars aren't tested by your own cap, so there's no star rating to base the Portofino's safety performance on. However, all cars get the subsequent kit as standard. Carbon Ceramic Brakes Advanced stability and traction control systems. Front airbags for driver and passenger. Side airbags. Tire repair kit no spare. Tracker. Front and rear parking sensors. Alarm and immobilizer. Ferrari Portofino driver assistance technology. You don't get anything past standard cruise control here, which is hardly surprising, Ferraris are of you driving, not your vehicle. Boot isn't precisely what you'd call huge. Ski hatch useful, just like parking aids. Rear seats have ice fix but adults won't fit. The Portofino has a lot more than enough space for two main sixth tall adults inside front. But while Ferrari claims there's 5 cm more legroom from the rear, we found the leading seat backs were much too close on the back perches to match another two of humans. These seats are much better suited to carrying items for example shopping bags on account of their somewhat concave shape. Will the Ferrari Portofino integrate my garage? It generally is a 600 horsepower fancy car but the Portofino is definitely an approachable vehicle that's simple to park, but only once you've mastered the driving controls. These are unusual in case you're familiar with cars business companies, because reverse is selected having a button for the central console and you must use a shift paddle to pick first gear again afterwards. However. Standard back and front acoustic sensors along with a reversing camera make maneuvering easy work. Will my luggage fit from the Ferrari Portofino? The boots not the last word in cavernousness and definitely will fit some cabin sized bags using the roof up. Take the top down which hampers luggage room considerably. Also be skeptical of operating the roof within the move when you're carrying loose items inside boot, since these could get blown about by turbulence and potentially even lost. There's a hatch within the rear seats to permit loading of longer items like skis, but we're not convinced you'll squeeze your other kit for just a trip to your mountains inside boot. It'll ought to occupy the trunk seats instead.